today. From First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio, this is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. We have a beautiful late summer afternoon for football here at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Here's the Browns kicker, Chase McLaughlin, set to go, and we are underway now from Cleveland. Allen off the play fake. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 49-yard line. And they'll get this just to the 47. Here's second and nine. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. But at the same time, as methodical as they've been, they might want to run the ball a little bit here, too. And just on the outskirts of the red zone, they have options now. Either way, though, they've come out with a purpose. They'll run on first down with Moss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Allen now looks to throw. Nowhere to turn him. Shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. First down, Mayfield. Second and 10. Mayfield to throw it. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. Third down, Mayfield. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen going deep for Diggs. And that is caught one-handed. And coaches go, two hands, two hands still works. <laughs> I know, but they, they go for them so often now that I'm almost starting to take them for granted. Yeah, and that's unbelievable, isn't it? Because these are sensational type plays. Especially that one with a defender right there. Throwing on second and eight. Allen, and that'll be incomplete. Missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Throwing now is Allen. This will be caught inside the 10. And able to get him down, but he does reach the 5. Here's Allen to throw it. On collision to jar that one free. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. A line of scrimmage once again, the 5, as they get ready for second and goal. On play action, Allen. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. He's at the 50, 30, 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. Is that be better with the... 
Allen now on first down. Going deep for Diggs. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And he's going to get this inside the 30. On first down, Allen. It's complete to Diggs. I think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. They'll run on first down with Singletary. First downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down. It's Moss, and he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Allen going to throw. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Oh, a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Front. And now with the ball where it is, I would expect to see the offense throw the ball on second and third down here. This one complete to his fullback. To the air, Allen. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. The Cleveland offense ready to go. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up. And let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. To throw once more on second and ten. Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. 32 now. Here's first and 10. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not even going to catch the football. He's so that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes. You can read his hands. And you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. A lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Again, he's got that man Landry. Towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. And again, it's Mayfield. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. A first down throw for Mayfield. And maybe turn the tide. Throwing again on second and ten. Mayfield. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he will bring this across midfield to the 49-yard line. So after the INT, it's Allen. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. On play action, Allen. Going deep for Diggs. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Allen. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. They've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? A final shot before half for Allen. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, well, get him right back out on the field and play. Hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. 
Throwing again, Mayfield on second and 10. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Mayfield from the gun on third down. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. Right back to Singletary on second down. On the give, this is their fullback. They'll run on first down. Singletary. To move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Going here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. On first down, Singletary. Now Allen. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, they've got to get their timing back. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play fake. Mayfield. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now Mayfield. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. Three quarters in the books. Run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They go right back to Singletary. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. They'll run on first down. Singletary. The football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And now they'll throw with Allen. They'll let this go for the end zone. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. Momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Throw left side complete. If not, you end up with big troubles, as we just saw right there. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield. They'll go screen here to Hunt. Give him five on the screenplay, and that'll set up the third down. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're going to tell you. You can have six, seven yards. Do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've got to start attacking vertically a lot more. Mayfield. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And he'll be brought down with the first down after a gain of about 11. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. And let's us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Mayfield's throw into the hands of Peoples-Jones. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 45-yard line to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now Mayfield. He's got Hooper on the short connection, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now this one hauled in. Again, it's Hooper. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. Mayfield to throw. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Baker. 
Open man is Higgins. Mayfield. This is caught. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On first down, Singletary. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now Allen, he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. Picked up by Greg Newsom. Mayfield. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now Mayfield. Now a desperation throw deep downfield into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. I don't understand this one one bit. Here's Mayfield. It's caught by Hooper. And he goes down. As the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. Because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And his kick here is good.